everybody. Welcome back. Uh, we are on part seven. And at this point, we are going to <clears throat> start working on this back section here. And this, I don't know, it may move a little bit quicker now that you've kind of got the, the idea of where we're going with this. Um, I've just gathered up another bunch of envelopes I've had laying around. This is a coin envelope. Um, something that's occurred to me is you, you can also make your own envelopes <clears throat> if you want to coordinate with your papers. You know, if you've got an envelope punch board, it'd be very easy for you to, to um, incorporate some handmade ones as well. So, you know, keep that in mind on these kinds of projects. Um, okay, so we are going to have <clears throat> quite a few here to deal with. And this was, uh, you know, the cards, you can get the envelope and the card. I thought, well, it would be fun to, to use, because I've got an abundance of these. I've been using the envelopes, and I've got loads of these left, so I'm going to try to come up with something for us to use uh, those um, card bases with as well. And again, just another um, assortment of envelopes on hand that we can pull and use. Um, okay, so let's first start with this section here, and I've already got my paper cut, so I'm going to get that down. And uh, as I said, I, I try to leave about a quarter of an inch um, margin, but that's just a personal preference for me. And the other thing I decided I want to do here is I'm going to do some side opening coin envelopes. Um, I probably won't add the accordion. I'll just have them flat on, on this part because um, I wouldn't really want to bulk that out. All of our bulk is going to go in this space here because we've got that nice, about I don't know, close to about three quarters of an inch um, area there to fill out. So let's just get this just thinking if I want to do a bit of stitching around that. I won't. I won't do it on that one because we're, yeah. Okay. Getting with it, guys. I'm still still on my co morning coffee, so bear with me. The brain, my brain will wake up here shortly. It's, uh, the weather's turned here today. <laughs> uh, now I understand why the English talk about the weather all the time. Yeah, we had a couple of really nice days, so I can't complain. But yeah, it's a terrible day out there today. And uh, <laughs> Paul, oh my gosh. I mean, you know, we're in the middle of a move. Well, bless his heart, this is the third time he's moved his mother um, in a year and a half. So he's doing that today, and it's just pouring down rain. Um, she's being moved to another <clears throat> home, and uh, of all the days, it's a shame the weather didn't uh, cooperate for him, but it's, that's the way it goes in England. <clears throat> all right, so what I want to do here is I have measured this and I'm going to make the um, these about three and a half inches um, in height, which is going to be turned so that they're opening um, on the side. 
So I want to get, and I would say with this project, it's really much easier if you've got a paper that's, you don't have to worry about the direction that it's going in, and I'll explain why. Because with the coin envelopes, um, it's just easier if you can take this and cut this down at three and a half because I want to fill that up really. Um, oops, Ooh, I nearly cut that at three and a quarter. And then just get that little bit of white cut off. And then we'll just have these. These are super easy. If, I mean, even if you add the little accordion piece like we did on the other one, uh, I just love the way they look. I like anything that opens up. All right, so let's see here. <clears throat> I may have to trim some of this off. can keep it, I think. Gosh, I don't know. My trimmer... I've been noticing it, um, it's cutting weird, and I don't know what's happened with that. It's probably me. I'm probably not lining everything up the way I should be, but I'm going to have to check on that. It might need a new blade. That's so weird. Hang on, guys. Okay, let me just do these together. Jeez. Because I want to make sure I've got them even. And then I may trim some of this off of that flap. I'm just going to trim a little bit off of this at the bottom. Actually, I like the flap. I'm just going to round the corners very quickly. Um, you can also line this. I probably should have done it. I may... I may actually do that because I really don't like seeing white. Yeah, let me do that, guys, because that's going to bug me. So I've got some of this honeycomb paper. I'm just going to line the inside of that um, just down to about here. So bear with me.
before I line that, I'm going to go ahead and get my little circles here cut, and that way I can cover the um, the brad with this this paper. Okay. Okay, I'm thinking what I want to do is I'm just going to cut out a couple of circles from this definition. Or maybe this one. I'll use this one since it's smaller. I think I can get two. Okie dokie. Now, oh dear, I just realized I need four of these. Guys, 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 I think I need more coffee. <laughs> what is going on with me today? This is so weird. <laughs> okay, I'm, we're gonna, we're just gonna roll with it. cups of coffee, but um, clearly it's not helping the old brain. I was awake a lot through the night last night, and I think maybe, maybe I did get the best night's sleep. <laughs> that's that's going to be my excuse. That's my excuse today. Alrighty, let's see here.
Okay, let's see how that looks looking there. Okay, let's get this down and then I'll trim that. I'll have to trim around that slightly. And then we'll uh, do this again. Get these corners rounded here, and then uh, I'll just repeat that process, guys. So I think at this point, just so you don't have to watch me, I will do that off camera and come back so that we can start on the next um, portion. And um, that way you don't have to just sit here and watch me show you what you probably already have been doing. <laughs> uh, okay guys, so let me just stop it. I'll be back. Okay guys, this is where we're at now. I'll give you a close up how those came out. <clears throat> like I said, I did not add um, <clears throat> the little accordion bits to this. So, you know, it'll just hold like a single Maybe two journal cards, but that's okay. Um, you could adapt that if you want to have a bit more room. Definitely do so. But the reason I opted not to is um, we're going to do that on this next page. Okay? So, flipping over here, I decided... <clears throat> One second, guys. Okay, here <clears throat> I've decided we're going to put a pocket, and then this comes with the kit, so I thought that would be really cute, and I wanted something to break it up, but, so those I'm going to put together, but I wanted to cover this because this is going to um, show just slightly because of the um, accordion feature. So let's first get this background paper down. And then now I want to get <clears throat> this pocket, <coughs> excuse me guys, I'm going to get this glued down so that we'll have a bit more room for adding um, memorabilia and things.
Where the have I gone with that other piece? Oh, there it is. Let me go ahead and get that. I should have did that first. Get this glued down first, guys, before you add those pieces. I should have did that. I'm just going to line that up, and the same over here. Shoot. Sorry guys, I forgot to put a bit of glue in here. Let's try that again. And what you might want to do is just clip down this bottom portion. I should have used Fabri-Tac thinking about it because it would have glued much quicker than that tacky Eileen's. Yeah, oh well. Okay, so I'll just leave that in place and we can carry on. I'm going to let that dry and then that's going to get us a pocket here and then this will expand slightly. Okay, so that I am going to say is part seven, guys. Um, I've got a couple of things uh, lined up already, so the next portion should go much quicker. We should be able to complete this in one, maybe, well, two, possibly three more um, segments. But the next one, I'm going to carry on. In the next portion, we're going to finish all of this, and then I might need to do another one so that we can start then filling in with... The, the remainder of our tags and journal cards. And I still haven't decided with the journal portion of this. I actually, you know, I think this, I am just going to leave it as is because now that I'm starting to get into the journaling, I can totally see the benefit just to having this blank and then using what has been filled in on the front and back to add tags and things throughout. So I, I don't think we'll do anything with this portion of it, but I could change my mind. You know I've been known to do so. <laughs> Anyways, guys, okay. So we will. I'll be back with uh, part seven and, like I said, probably eight parts, possibly nine, depending on how much more we need to do. I hope you're enjoying this. I hope you're staying safe. I'll be back soon. Bye-bye.